Great Ujama, great Ujama family. It is so good to be standing in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. I am your host, Brother Hot Tim. Of course, you know this is a heart of some production all day, air day. We strive, strive, strive uh, to blow up your old paradise. <laughs> that our thing podcast family we are talking about the sacred circle of ujama embracing the spiritual dance of give and take and before we go any further first off i want to give all of the ujama babies a round of applause because it's their day And also, also, we want to give it up for all the Nia babies because it's their week. Let's give it up, give it up, give it up. Man, this year is evaporating. One of my elders called me once again. He was like, it's Kwanzaa season. (laughs) We got to get ready. We got to get ready. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, shouts out to Elder Tony getting us ready here for the next steps. That we have to go through and, and, and sound the, the alarm for what we need to be doing. So, uh, family, 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 if I could, if I could, anime, could I please have a little bit of music, please? Just a little bit. It don't have to be a lot, just a little bit. Okay. I hear you. All right. So, the Sacred Circle of Ujima, embracing the spiritual dance of give and take. This is the message of the day. Let's get it. Tribe members, community members, extended tribe, all of you out there, please listen up. In the intricate dance of life, Ujima stands as a testament to the sacred cycles of giving, receiving, and expressing heartfelt gratitude. It's more than just an economic principle. Is a spiritual rhythm that resonates with our very souls. As we journey through this week of Nia, reflecting on our purpose, let's recognize the profound depths of Ujima and alignment. And its alignment with our spiritual essence. Ujima is not merely a transaction, it's a connection. It's about recognizing the divine in every exchange, seeing the bigger picture of community growth and understanding that our collective prosperity is intricately linked to our spiritual journey. Every act of giving, every moment of receiving, and every expression of gratitude is a step closer to realizing our shared purpose. Three steps to embody Ujima. Mindful exchange with every economic interaction. Pause and reflect on its deeper meaning. Recognize the mutual benefit and the bonds it strengthens within our community. Mindful exchanges. Wow. Express gratitude. Make it a daily practice to express gratitude for the abundance in your life and the community. This simple act amplifies the spirit of Ujma, fostering a culture of appreciation. Three, invest in community. Seek out opportunities to support local businesses, artisans, and initiatives. By investing in our community, we reinforce the cycle of cooperative economics and shared prosperity. As we embrace Ujima, let's remember that it's more than just an economic principle. It's a spiritual guide leading us towards a purposeful existence where every one gives and takes is where every give and take is a step closer to collective enlightenment now you know it's time for what's it time for it's the proverb uh, proverb that's right the proverb of the day the proverb of the day the proverb of the day proverb of the day proverb of the day if i could anime Bring that music back in, please. Proverb of the day, proverb of the day. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. I might have used this one before, but this one touched me. The best way to find yourself 
is to lose yourself in the service of others. In the intricate dance of life, where we often seek purpose and identify an identity, sacred dance of life, excuse me, where we often seek purpose and identity, today's proverb offers a profound insight. By immersing ourselves in the service of our community, by giving without expecting, and by supporting one another, we discover the true essence of who we are. This is the heart of Ujima. Ujima, with its foundations in cooperative economics, is not just about shared prosperity, it's about shared growth, both material and spiritual. As we give, as we serve, we not only uplift those around us, but also find a deeper connection with our own selves. It's a journey of self-discovery where the act of giving becomes a mirror reflecting our true nature and purpose. In the spirit of Ujima, let's embrace the joy of service. Let's recognize that in every act of kindness, in every gesture of support, and in every moment of shared prosperity, we are not just building strong community, but also forging a deeper understanding of ourselves. As we navigate this day and days to come, let's remember that our true identity is intertwined with our community. In serving others, we find ourselves. In giving, we receive the priceless gift of self-awareness and spiritual fulfillment. Now, the folk tale of the day, the lion's whiskers. So I'm, I'm doing something different with the folk tale. So more than likely, for a little while, you won't be finding any audios of the folk tale just to write up because these are um i i just start finding me some random folk to so let's share so this one is called the lion's whiskers um go and check it out um nice little story from ethiopia um so go and check it out folk tale. get the lesson and know that it got something to do with purpose yo this is brother tim you know i'm i'm out of here it's so it's you know what these weeks i find myself in the throes of discovering each one or becoming more personal, personally acquainted with each one of these principles. So during the week of Nia, I'm really questioning my purpose. And hopefully you might be going through it too. Not maybe in a way that I'm going through it. I'm having a crisis uh, as we speak. Um, really looking at what I do and and, and even how I do it. Um, and um, it's pretty uncomfortable. But hell, we know that in in uncomfort, this is where growth happens, right? So hey, this is Brother I Tim, and you know what? I am out. What is a lion without his pride? What is a whale without his pod? What is a monkey without his troop? What is a wolf without his pack? The answer is very simple. They are the same thing that a human being is without a tribe. Pray. Peace, family. Yo, thank you for joining us. Right now thrilled to announce the fact that we are now releasing our first free e-course. Come and learn about Jayami's journey 
some, some, some of the stuff we do, come and join the tribe. The tribe up with us and check out the free e-course. And we'll make sure that the URL pop up right about here. And it'll probably be in somewhere in here. Check us out, family, because we are building. Come and learn about Gianni's journey. And let's build together.